A Middletown family now has closure after their son was killed in a DUI crash one year ago. In June of last year, 24 year old Javen Russian was killed in a crash that injured five others in the Irish Hill neighborhood. The driver would take a plea deal and last month he was sentenced to 15 years. After the anniversary of his death, we sat down with Javen's parents to talk about the sentence and how they're keeping Javen's memory alive. He had his stats and stuff, so he, for rebounds, he did 5.2, um, total points 13.1, free throw 2.6, 3.1.6. I mean, he was, he was a really good kid in basketball. From the time he was four years old, basketball was Javen Russian's passion. He played on the team at Eastern High School, even making headlines. Off the court, he was always popular and always willing to help anyone in need. His parents, Estefani and Jason Russian, say he never knew a stranger. Javen was a jokester. He always liked to play jokes on people, or he's very funny. He was the type of kid that he comes into a room, people would just gravitate to him, and there was always said that he was the life of the party. Now, looking back on these memories helps his parents feel close to him. Their world turned upside down on June 4th, 2023, when they got a middle of the night phone call from their oldest son, Jason Jr. When I heard my son crying, I knew somebody was dead and I knew somebody close. Javen had been in a DUI crash. The driver, 25 year old Daniel Bell, was going 100 miles an hour in a 35 mile an hour zone on Lexington Road when he struck a guardrail and then a tree. His blood alcohol content was 0.17, double the legal limit. By the time his brother got to the scene, Javen was already gone. Jason actually saved a couple people's lives too in that car. There were six people, they pulled a couple people out and rescued them to get to his brother, but it was already too late. It was like the scene of a scary movie, like blood. And I was just like, man, you don't want to see your son like this. I said, man, I got to. Bell was charged with murder, but posted bond and was put on house arrest. Both Bell and Javen were 24 at the time of the crash, but only one got to go on with life. On his 25th birthday, um, one of Javen's friends sent me a picture of what his dad and you know and here he is smiling and and you know um, his dad's giving him money and he just smiling and they both throw up the middle finger. Yeah. As for us, Javen's 25th birthday was at his um, grave site. Earlier this year, Bell pled guilty to manslaughter, assault and several wanton endangerment counts. He was sentenced to 15 years in prison. Javen's parents believe it's not enough. I look at this way, you endangered so many people in that car. Um, one of the girls, she had like 30 broken bones. That was one of Javen's good friends. They both went to Eastern and she's still recovering. So I basically look at 15 years as three years per person in that car. His parents continue to keep his memory alive, sharing Javen's story in the hopes of deterring others from drinking before getting behind the wheel. I come and pick everybody up. I get you over home, I don't care what it costs. And I made that a point at the funeral, like, call me, man, think about Javen at 3 in the morning when you take his drink and start that car, cut it back out. One way they feel close to him is through basketball. Jason has been a longtime fixture of the Dirt Bowl basketball tournament, coaching the Jewel Park basketball team. Javen had played in the tournament before and was set to play again last year before his death. Now his team is competing in his honor once again. Jason says Javen's teammates feel his presence on the court. The team is most of his friends. His yeah. His friends. So I kind of like kept it going and we're really getting good. We're going to be hard to beat this summer. Uh, Thank you again to Javen's family for letting us share their story.